Hi everyone, welcome to my channel and thanks for your interest in Articate uh, session. So today we'll discuss uh, about Articate library, all about Articate library and its uh, uh, packages, features. So Articate is one of the widely used uh, and open source package by both academic and industry for a variety of cheminformatic applications including drug discovery and material science and environment chemistry category, right? So today, majorly we'll discuss about uh, uh, what are the major libraries that is present in the uh, uh, RDKit and uh, what are the sub libraries and what is the uh, activities that we can perform by using these libraries and highlights of some of these packages, right? Let's start. Okay, jump into previous slide. Give me a second. Okay, so the first we'll start with the articate.com. So articate.com is a main library of articate, which provides a basic chemi informatic functionality for working with the molecular structures. Uh, it includes uh, uh, reading the molecule and writing the molecule, handling the various file formats, and calculating the molecular properties and performing a substructure search. So these are the highlights of Articate uh, Chem Library. And in order to access that, you can you can see the basic function. Uh, so where you can actually call uh, library from space Articate import Chem. So then you can start you know uh, entering the smiles and converting into the different file formats and start calculating molecular properties and visualize the molecules and everything. Right. Let's move on to the next one. So the next one is uh, another uh, additional uh, functionality to the dot chem library. So this library provides additional functionalities like um, molecular mechanics, quantum mechanic calculations, including force field optimization and molecular dynamic simulations and quantum ca calculations and other. So some of the properties uh, by molecular descriptors and uh, calculations and molecular optimization, confirmation generation, and also the molecular reaction simulations. In order to access that, first of all, we need to import uh, articate.chem. Then uh, from articate.chem, you, ca you can actually call uh, all chem. So then we start uh, reading the smiles and start play with the dot all chem libraries. In this example, uh, we are you know trying to generate a low energy confirmation by using Alchem library. So that's all about Alchem. Now let's move on to the next one, data structures. So the data structures library in the RTK provides a tools for working with the molecular fingerprints, which is a numeric representation of a molecular structures, uh, specifically used for the similarity searches and other applications. So this library includes several types of uh, fingerprints, including circular fingerprints, Morgan fingerprints, atom pair fingerprints. So the basically, you know, handling molecular fingerprints and similarity matrices and using those as molecular descriptors. And data structures, uh, it's again, part of our dot chem library. So in order to access that, you can see uh, from our, from our ticket dot chem import data structures, data structure, and start, you know, reading them on, Two molecules, either set up molecules and calculate fingerprints for the same, and then calculate a similarity. This is just an example of snapshot. We'll discuss more in the upcoming sessions. Now, the next one is sim.d filters, which is actually you know very interesting uh, packages, especially if you're handling with uh, uh, you know data sets where you want to calculate a diverse uh, uh, similarity and diversity. So where you know. Uh, to understand uh, the diverse range of chemical space. So this library provides uh, different algorithms for selecting a diverse subsets of larger data sets and visualizing them, analyzing those diverse compound data sets. And min-max is one of the well-known packages of this one. And cluster-based diversity also we can perform by using this library. So in order to access that, all you need to do is, you know, uh, call uh, from articate dot uh, sub filters and sub and maximum 
pickers. So whatever the package or whatever the library uh, function that you are planning to perform. So in order to support that, you need to install, you need to activate uh, dot chem and all chem as well. So that is all about uh, uh, the SIMDiv filters. Okay. So the next one is uh, uh, articate.ml. So even I was surprised, uh, you know, uh, when I was learning about articate.ml package. By using this package, you can actually calculate it. Uh, you can actually do the molecular clustering and molecular classifications and regression and everything. So that is about uh, molecular ML package, right? So now next move to the, the more library packages. So these are uh, uh, basically rdk.chem sub packages, you can say, uh, .chem rd geometry lib, basically in order to, you know, uh, provides manipulating molecular geometries, including bond angles, torsion angle, molecular conformations. Mm -hmm. uh, the major two classes of articulate geometry is uh, RD geometry lib and mold conformations and uh, trans mold trans classes. So whereas a mold conformer class, where, uh, where actually that provides uh, tools for generating molecular conformations and while mold trans class provides tools for manipulating uh, the geometry of the molecule. Right. The next one, again, it's actually packet, uh, uh, you know, sub library under dot chem. So you can actually see it uh, majorly, the name itself is big chem reaction. So it is a sub library of RDK dot chem. Provide, you know, it provides the tools to work with the uh, chemical reactions. The key class of, uh, you know, chem reactions is a chem chemical reaction class which provides tools for manipulating or visualizing chemical reactions or handling chemical reactions in order to, you know, uh, uh, activate this function. All you need to do is import all chem and all chem libraries first, then followed by rdk.chem and chem reactions and start, you know, adding a reactant and product and create a reactions. So the next one, the rdk chem drop. So it's a actually chem dot drop. So in order to activate that, you, all you need to do is from rdkit.chem and uh, from rdkit.chem dot import um, mold and also the chemical reaction. So basically this chem dot life sub library of rdkit.chem, it provides drawing the molecular molecules reactions and key classes of this one is chem draw and mold draw 2D and reaction classes. So it provides, uh, you know, representation of drawing 2D representation of the molecules and also drawing, uh, you know, saving the molecules in image formats. Right. So the next one is uh, basically, again, under sub package of uh, .chem, mole align. The name itself, it speaks, it's uh, basically using for the, uh, you know, aligning the molecules, set of molecules by using uh, atom based, substructure based, palm copper based. So, in order to activate that, you can actually see here example, articate.chem dot rdmole align import align mode. So, provide a set of molecules or two molecules and start, you know, playing with the mole align function. Okay, so the next library is all about dot chem dot fmcs. So, this module provides, uh, you know, basically for find. A max gamma substructure, you know, it provides all the functionalities to handle this uh, substructure identifications. As a best substructure, ring based, uh, you know, it provides all those features by using to handle the substructures. Okay, so these are the uh, different functionalities or different libraries, sub libraries that is available under RTKit. So basically, in today's session, we are discussing about high lists of articulate libraries uh, and their features. So in upcoming sessions, we'll discuss about how to install the articulate and the examples of all these library packages we'll discuss one by one. Thank you again for joining and thank you for your interest. And if I miss anything, please let me know and happy to learn. Thank you.